This is a part which contains a trochoidal toolpath created with planar milling. Currently, if you're going to the planar mill dialog, you will get the following warning. The trochoidal cut pen is no longer supported. Use adaptive milling instead. For sure, for this kind of part, you could use the standard adaptive milling pattern. But we also now provide the possibility to use the adaptive milling pattern as a cut pattern. You can now switch to an adaptive milling pattern instead. You can now, as usual with adaptive milling, you can set certain patterns uh, or a certain adaptive milling specific features like the low height transfer moves and also the pillar cutting for example. One thing you can't use is the bottom up cutting because planar mill is not aware of any kind of 3D geometry so you would have to create multiple manual operations with planar mill to get the same effect. So now here we are setting now the percentage of the tool diameter. Let's say in this case, okay, let's have 5% of the tool diameter. And um, the low height transfer moves look good so far. We can adjust them later. Also, if you look at the non-cutting moves, as, as usual in um, adaptive milling, you don't have that much um, engage option in, in the uh, closed area and you, you, you don't have any options to control the open area engages because this is handled by uh, adaptive milling automatically. Here you can set the engage tape to, to, uh, to helical and you can also use custom feeds and speeds. So let's generate the adaptive milling operation now. And you see, instead of a trochoidal toolpath, you now have the fully working adaptive milling toolpath inside a planar mill operation.